the motor spirit is here at the 24 Hours of Le Mans. It's test weekend. It's two weeks before the race, and drivers who've never driven here or who haven't driven here in the last three years need to be certified. And it's a time for teams to test and practice. This year is the 70th anniversary of the race starting again after World War II in 1949. In 1949, it was won by Luigi Canetti, driving a Ferrari 166. It would be Ferrari's first Le Mans win. Canetti would go on to become Ferrari's North American distributor and create his own North American racing team. And as a team owner, his car would win in 1965 and be the last time a Ferrari would win Le Mans overall. In 1959, Carroll Shelby and Roy Salvadori would win in an Aston Martin. It was a good year for Aston as they won the World Sports Car Championship. Shelby and Salvadori died within a month of each other in 2012. It is the 60th anniversary of the win, but unlike Ferrari or Porsche who celebrate everything, Aston has done little remembering the anniversary. 1969 would be the last win for the Ford GT40, ending the most dynamic decade in American motorsports. A car and team developed much under former winner Carroll Shelby's direction, similar in some ways to Luigi Canetti. In 1979, a Porsche 935 driven by a pair of American brothers along with Klaus Ludwig would win. Interesting is who finished second in a similar Porsche driven by two Americans, Dick Barber and Paul Newman, along with Rolf Stolemann. Nineteen eighty nine marked the Berlin Wall coming down, and a pair of Sauber C nine Mercedes finished first and second. Twenty years ago in 1999, a BMW V12 won using the same type of V12 that was in the McLaren F1 that won in its own right in 1995. And in 2009, the Peugeot 908s finished first and second. Peugeot's racing history includes winning the Indianapolis 500 three times in the early 19-teens. In between was the domination of Porsche and later Audi, both now gone from the race, leaving Toyota with their high-powered hybrids to race themselves in the top prototype class. The ancestor to the 24 Hours of Le Mans is the 1906 French Grand Prix. It was held here in Le Mans. Now, today's circuit's about 20 minutes from the center part of town. Then, the start line was on today's pit lane. And it was a triangular course, so they came up that road there, took the hairpin here at pont and went down that road there. Now today you can take a tram from the train station directly to the circuit and you'll be going on the exact same road. Automobile racing then was to prove speed and reliability. And the tire companies were here like Michelin and Dunlap and Continental. Michelin had developed a tire on rim. Up to this point you had to take the tire, the rim off, pry the tire off, put the new tire on. It took about 15 minutes. With their new tire on rim, it took four minutes.
should Toyota blow it, these guys could win it. They are the Swiss-based Rebellion LMP1 team, well prepared and with top drivers. Rebellion is a premium Swiss watch company located near Lausanne. Ford announced this is the last year for the Ford GT. Like in the 60s when they came, won four times and left, it's the same this time. Porsche brought two factory 911s in Brumos Porsche racing colors that ran at Daytona and Sebring, although the Florida team never raced at Le Mans. It wouldn't be hard to cobble up an LMP2 team. You can buy a chassis from Liget, Orica, or Dallara, pick up a couple of Gibson Technology 4-liter V8s out of England. They're basically Chevy small blocks. Get two dozen wheels, sign a tire contract, hire some guys who really know what they're doing to manage and attract paying drivers. Call a few buddies to crew. It would be the ultimate buddy trip, better than the Super Bowl. Forget about a boat in the Monaco Harbor. Having a racing team at Le Mans would stun any conversation. A lap at Le Mans is about eight and a half miles. The fastest lap last year was three minutes and 17 seconds. It took 388 laps, or a distance of about 3,300 miles, to win, which from Los Angeles would put you a few hundred miles east of New York into the Atlantic. Thank mm -hmm. you.